Hi everyone, Roberto Valenzuela here. You're about to watch one of my many super short, super fun photo reviews that I did during the pandemic. I call these board at home photo reviews. People would submit photos to me during the stay at home orders and to do something with their time, I would review everybody's photos one by one with a lot of content in them. However, there is no production value whatsoever to these. These are not meant to be high production. These, are where record these were recorded with my iPhone recording my laptop screen and sometimes they're handheld and there's a little shaky shaky there but overall just enjoy the content because these are a lot of fun if you enjoy these board at home photo reviews make sure to like the channel subscribe to the channel thumbs up to the channel and it would help a lot to make a comment on any questions you may have regarding any of the reviews or the, the review you're about to see all right enjoy these are the photos we have available for today uh, we have this one we have this one and we have this one. These are the three photos we have. First of all, the photographer decided to go against a, uh, a window and then they closed, uh, they closed the shears in order to make the light more diffused, which is what you're supposed to do. Good job on that. Second, it, it creates a nice clean background, which it also gives you uh, all the, it makes all the attention go straight to the couple. Um, so that's good. And now be because you are inside this room, it's kind of awkward because you're like, okay, guys, get together. Let's do a photo shoot and start. And the couple basically looks like they are doing a photo shoot. And they're kind of like, all right, here we go. We're going to get photographed. Let's do this. So that's kind of the problem here. So how do you break? How do you break that? So let me turn the camera around for a second. Okay, first, I recognize 100% that when you are about to start a photo shoot, you're like, all right, guys, let's get together. Let's go by the window. Let's try to get a nice portrait going. This is just not gonna work. Uh, it's gonna be very hard for you to be able to pull a great expression out of them. It's better for you to be further away and be able to coach them through some stimulus that they are laughing or something about their personality, something that they told you that makes them, maybe makes them laugh a little bit. But being in that room like that and just kind of being there in this place it's awkward for them to be in a position where they're together kind of like maybe about to kiss or something and then there's this random photographer kind of like 10 feet away just staring at them it's very awkward so that's what's happening here it is in this photo it's a very awkward pose because they're they're very aware of the photographer being there so it doesn't look like a real moment um you have two options. You can try to get them to laugh and actually have a nice laughter reaction going on, or B, you can try to make a real portrait out of the girl or out of the guy, and that re that would require no laughter, so they can be serious. To help you, I pulled a photo that I took. Okay, let's take a look. To help you, here's a photo that I took, similar, okay? So these guys were not gonna laugh anyway. They're Russian and they, no, she's Russian, he's not, but, um, they were not going to be laughing. So it was going to be tough to get them to react like that. So I decided to do a nice portrait of her. So I turned him around, make sure that I could see this bone structure right there. A little bit of his eyes closed, which is visible, which is what you want. And it's a portrait of the bride being beautiful and powerful. Okay. Uh, so thank you, sir. Thank you, Demon. Thank you. So that's an idea. So I, I pulled this I pulled this out because I wanted to show you where if you have a photo where a couple that they may not be laughing or it may be awkward because you're in the room, then get them, get them to now that's a photo, <laughs> get them to relax and be peaceful and comfortable with you. And it's easier to do that if they are just like if you are talking to them in a peaceful way and saying, let's get, take a beautiful portrait of you. I need you to be confident and strong. I need you to be confident and beautiful. Look at the camera softly. And these words create that expression. OK, what happens here is that you don't have that. You they're staring at each other. And in my book, Picture Perfect Posing, I actually even say don't have the noses pointed at each other. Now, this creates a parallel line. You don't, you don't want a parallel line. You want an X. So you want this nose this way and this nose this way. You want this X. Okay, that's why it's called the nose, the nose X factor. Okay, so I think here's another photo that I wanted to show with you guys just to kind of show you some uh, problems that how I fix the problem. But take a look at this picture here. This couple was, they were a little nervous because I was photographing them and they were acting very, I, I don't know, they were just, they, they, were, they were just acting odd. So I cracked up a joke real good from far away and 
And they started laughing. And this is what I want to show you guys. This is the energy you want to show. You want this energy to pop, okay? That, guys, that kind of photo is the kind of photo where people are like, wow, there's energy there. You feel the moment. There's the, a photographer captures something really cool. It doesn't look like you artificially try to put them together. Now, it's very hard. Like if you're, if you're out there uh, listening to this and you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you want to take nice photos of them, you're going to have to create a scene in your mind where you're actually having a fun conversation that makes you laugh and makes both of you react. Both have to, have to react, not just one, both. So if you, so, you know, maybe set up a tripod and then have it on timer and then go nine, eight, seven, six. And when you hear the camera go beep, 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 then you start cracking up or laughing or he squeezes you or something. Um, in this photo, I actually had him squeeze her from the left hand into her waist, uh, into her forearm. You can see the arm right there. So he was, he was basically squeezing. He's supposed to squeeze her from the waist, but he braced the arm and did it here. That what made her laugh because she didn't know how hard he was going to um, squeeze. So that created that kind of laughter, okay? So he's looking at her reaction and then look at the nose. His nose is pointing this way. Her nose is pointing this way. What does that create? An X. That's what you want, okay? So <coughs> back to this one. Um, the problem here is that this person's nose is parallel. This person's nose is parallel and you do not want parallel noses because it looks like they're awkward and they're not really trying they're not relaxed. They're very aware of the camera. Um, next photograph. That the father looks realistic. The mom looks like she's trying too hard by the, by the angle, like, like the photographer put her in that angle. That's, that's, that's what's wrong with this picture. I like the groom's expression. I think he's good. And the bride doesn't work at all, okay? The bride just doesn't work. So we have two good. Uh, this one is trying too hard. Wrong frame means wrong, wrong. You, uh, it's the wrong picture. Like this person probably took 10 photos of this while they were live reacting and they're just submitting the wrong frame, the wrong, the wrong um, photograph, okay? If you are doing these kinds of photos, you probably took, if the photographer is listening to this, you probably took 10 photos from this. So I would choose another frame where the bride looks like she's actually um, conscious that, that the photo is now being taken. She looks like she's, she's, not even, she's not even there yet, okay? If you're going to attempt this, good job on the attempt. It worked, it's almost there. It's like a 50-50 work there. Um, they have the same eyes, look, yeah, they do have the same eyes. So it does look like they are brother and sister. Okay, but it kind of worked, it kind of didn't. It's like a 50-50. So we'll, this, we'll give this one a C on the score. Okay, it's a C score. Okay, not bad. All right, let's take a look at this one. Uh, really cool stuff to notice in this picture, guys. Look, look how awesome this is. You have blue here, blue. You have blue here. Okay, you have blue. All right, you have two blues balancing each other. The distance between this blue and the edge is the same as this blue and the edge. See that? The same. So that is actually really well done. Composition wise, it's pretty cool. This line guides your eye to this part of the frame. This line guides your eye to them. This r green leaf guides your eye right to them. Okay. And then you have this little bush here, which is a bit of a distraction, but let's just ignore it. But at least it kind of somewhat frames them. All right, these little leaves are pointing down at them. And I just think this is just crazy cool. Then you have these two, three arches. You have one, you have two by the door, and then three. So if you were to place these people anywhere, you nailed it, my friend. You, na you nailed it right there. That is the most perfect composition. You got foreground, you got middle ground, and you got background. Ridiculous ridiculously well well done okay um now let's talk about the pose itself let's take a closer look beautiful creepy hand coming out of the head okay this hand needs to go you don't need to put the hand there you can put the hand behind them second this arm is touching her body you should never do that because it makes her arm look bigger than it is 
and it creates a bigger arm right there. You don't want that. So you want this, this elbow to should be slightly separated from the body that way. Um, and by the way, you don't separate the elbow here. Let me, let me look at this. You don't separate the elbow like that. You actually lean towards the camera and the elbow separates. Okay. So don't do, if you're doing this and you're the girl, don't go like that. That's, that's a bad, bad thing to do. You want to lean the person towards the, towards the photographer. Okay. All right. So here, uh, the arm is touching. Uh, this arm is at a 90 degree angle, which is it's fine because he's the guy, it's a little strong. You have a creepy hand coming out of there as well. You have his creepy fingers coming out. He looks very straight. Um, it's a little bit, a little stiff, okay? There's no bending on his legs. That's a bad situation, so let's, that's, not, that's not good. This leg on her, on her side is actually pretty flat too. It's actually pretty down, so that doesn't work. We need to make sure that there's at least a bit of a bend of the leg like this. Okay, uh, this arm, it would look a little bit better if it was a little bit lower, something around yay area. Okay, don't get too low. Don't get all like X-rated people. All right, um, her expression is pretty nice. I believe it. It would have been better if they would have been in a little bit more of a natural action. Again, you, you, you're missing action, okay? Maybe they're coming out of the door and they're laughing because they just had a glass of wine and they're remembering something. It looks too post. Again, posing is always an issue, Okay, this is always an issue. At least their expression is perfect. So I, I give that a, a check. His expression is also good. I give him a check. Um, it's all the other stuff. It's the stiffness of the body. Okay, this is a stiff, a stiff situation. Okay, stiff SIT for situation. Okay, that's the problem with that. So when you see all these people doing this weird wrap around with the arms and all this different stuff, say, hey, guys, snap out of it, snap out of it. Let's, let's, let's walk back and forth. And then when I tell you, get together and then smell her cheeks. Uh, and then when he does that, she will laugh, he will laugh. Their bodies will be in movement and they will look really good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that last board at home photo review session. If you're sitting there watching this and you're trying to wonder how can I get better at this? How come, how come I have to watch these videos and rely on others to tell me what's good and what's bad? I wanna be the expert. Guys, I have these informations in my head from all the books I've written. So if you would like, the books are out there, so if you would like to learn it yourself, you can just get the books and at least browse through it, get an understanding of how these things work. This is picture-perfect lighting. This is gonna teach you everything about illumination from natural light to how, be how light behaves with strobes and, and natural light and everything, how to enhance light with flashes. Look, photography and lighting are like this, so you really need to understand this one. Uh, of course, the most difficult topic for photographers ever is posing. So this is picture-perfect posing. This is going to teach you a system on how to understand the language of posing instead of having to memorize poses, which doesn't work. So you want to understand how, how posing works, and that way you can speak that language instead of having to memorize or look at your phone for poses, which doesn't look very good. And the next one is picture-perfect practice. This is a book for composition. This is the topic not many people think a lot about, but it's actually crucial to stand out. I also have another book called The Successful Professional Photographer. I believe everyone that's trying to make even a dollar in the photo industry should have that book. That book teaches you everything you need to know to really make some money in this industry instead of spending it all on gear, right? Um, the next one, if you're in the wedding photography world, if you're in that industry, you have a tremendous resource here. You have Wedding Storyteller Volume 1 and you have Wedding Storyteller Volume 2. This book teaches you a, an amazing system that I developed over the last 18 years of shooting weddings that has been the most successful system for me to stand out as a wedding photographer. And Volume 2 actually takes that system and shows you how I actually shot or used that system in real weddings. So you can see actual application of that system actually being put to practice. And last but not least, I'll leave you with some websites to check out. And I'm also going to leave links to these books on the description. So you guys don't have to go find or search for them. You can just click on the link and you can get the books yourself. Uh, the websites are going to be my website, robertovalenzuela.com. There's a workshop link there that you can click and you can check out any workshops I may be teaching in posing, lighting, or anything like that, or et, et cetera. I also wanna show you the, the photocreators.com. That's my own conference I hold in Tucson, Arizona. That's once a year. That's I invite the best teachers in the nation to come. We do this at a dude ranch in Tucson in the mountains. It's the most beautiful experience you'll have in a photo conference. It's all hands-on, so it's incredible. And the third one is 
curiousphotographers.com. That's just a website where I hold my online educational videos you guys can get if you would like. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next one.